Hey everybody, it's Kate, the West Coast Paper Crafter from Vancouver Island, Canada. It is Monday, April 29th, and tonight I have a very easy, fun, full design to show you that is the perfect design to highlight all the fancy papers that I'm sure everybody has in their stash. So I'm going to flip the camera around and we will get started. All right, so here is my workstation, which is, for those of you who don't know, my dining room table. That's right, I do not have my own craft room yet, but I am thinking about gutting out my spare room, rearranging, storing all the stuff that I've jammed into the closet and creating my own craft space. So perhaps one day I will have a craft room. Hey Karen, thanks for tuning in. Um, tonight I will be using the painted lavender stamps, but just the butterfly and um, the dies that come with the set, as well as the Happy Mother's Day stamp from the perennial postage stamp set and some of their dies as well. So I've got all the pieces cut out all these flowers and leaves are from the painted lavender die set and then these two pieces that i've cut out for the sentiment they're from the perennial postage die set so we don't need those yet we'll just put those aside and we've got our cardstock this is fresh freesia it is five and a half by eight and a half and i've scored it at two and one eighth and four, wait a minute, yeah, four and a quarter on the eight and a half inch side. So you're just gonna fold it in half and then that score line at the two and one eighth mark, you're just gonna fold up and over, right? So your card looks like so. All right, so that's our card base. Now we've got a piece of white that's four by ten and a half, and I've scored that at five and a quarter on the ten and a half inch sides. And this is going to be glued down to the inside of your card base. We will get to that. So first things first, two strips of designer series paper that are one and seven eighths by five and a quarter. And if you are tuning in and you, you don't need to write these measurements down because I will post them in the comments after this video is done and you'll just be able to grab them from there. So let's get started. I'm gonna glue these two pieces down on the inside of the card where it's gonna bend in and also on that piece that we folded backwards, right? So like so. Now, I cut this all from one piece of paper. So I just wanna make sure that everything is lined up and I have the right, the right order of things. So this is just, this is very, very simple, fun fold. And what I like about it, it's just so dang easy to do. And it also is a great way to highlight some of the pretty papers we have. All right, so I'm just gluing that piece down. I'm in a super good mood today because Kai and I are having ice cream after crafting. Hey, Kathy, thanks. I think it's pretty myself because you can't go wrong with this paper. So I was in, I gotta tell you guys this story. I was, um, I work 10 hour shifts but before Kai was born, I used to work 12 hour shifts. And my husband had a habit when he was home for the summer of calling me up five minutes before the end of my shift and asking if I would swing by the store or the gas station or whatever he needed and pick him up, I don't know, whatever he needed for groceries or if he wanted um, a pop or whatever. So anyway, this was my pet peeve 
I hated getting phone calls to pick up something after work when he's been sitting at home all day. Anyway, before I finish this story, we'll take this piece of designer series paper. This is five and a quarter by four, and we're just gonna glue it onto the front of the white cardstock. So, all right, so my pet peeve is my husband consistently asking me to pick things up. So I was working last week and I got the dreaded phone call five minutes before the end of shift. If I could swing, just swing by Costco, pick him up some freezer bags for the vacuum seal because he didn't want to go into town, even though he wasn't working and he'd been at home all day. So I go, but I'm not happy about it because it's my pet peeve. Anyway, <laughs> I'm in the lineup at Costco and just before I check out, I see out of the corner of my eye a stack of Ninja Creamies. Now, if you don't know what a Ninja Creamy is, it is a very slick ice cream maker. And if you, some of you may know this about me, but I really like kitchen appliances. Thanks, Robin. This is really pretty paper. Cindy, you're not late. You are not late. You're just on time. So I've just glued this to the white as I'm telling this story. So. I leave my cart in the lineup and I throw a creamy in the shopping cart. And this is my husband's pet peeve, kitchen appliances, because I'm so addicted to them and we're running out of space. So when I got home and he unloaded the car, he's like, what did you buy? And I said, that is my revenge ice cream maker. So that's what you get when you send me to Costco after I've worked a 10 hour shift. So tonight, Kai and I, after crafting, we're gonna have some revenge ice cream. And I love it, it's good. And you know what, I know Mike hates all my kitchen appliances, but he's not complaining about the ice cream either, so. Okay, so here is the card, like so, and then this opens up and you can write in your sentiment and I will stamp a little bit on the inside of the card because I like to do that. And the next thing we're gonna do is just create the sentiment which will get glued onto the front of this card. So uh, let's get started. Cindy, you got the Ninja Creamy? Do you have a, a favorite recipe? You might have to share it with me send me a message because Kai and I, well, on the weekend we made the, just like the basic vanilla in the recipe book that comes with the creamy. And then we did some add-ins like Kai added in, I'm just stamping this in gorgeous grape. I'm so, I'm sorry guys, I'm so fixated on ice cream that I'm gonna spend the whole time talking about ice cream. But we did the basic vanilla base and then Kai added in dark chocolate chunks and marshmallow fluff and Mike did mixed berries and I added in Fruit Loops and they were all really good. All right, I digress. I will stop talking about ice cream, but that's my revenge ice cream story and I think it will be a long time before Mike asked me to just swing by Costco on my way home after my 10 hour shift. So I'm just adding some butterflies in fresh freesia to my sentiment piece. And I'm offsetting a little bit. Okay. And then be actually before I put away my ink pad, I'm gonna add some butterflies to the inside of the card healthy ice cream. Well, that sounds responsible, Cindy. Yes, you're right though. We will make some healthy ice cream um, maybe next weekend, but today, no. I did find a recipe for a vegan creamy recipe that called for sweet potato as the base, and I gotta say, I'm intrigued. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of stamp and seal on the back side of the sentiment and then I'm going to add all my little die cut pieces. 
So I don't use stamp and seal very often because I'm not sure if any of you struggle with it, but sometimes it feels like I can't get the tape to start rolling. So I found that if you start it on your silicone mat, it catches and it's a lot easier to get it on your paper. So here's my little tip for the night. Oh, I got a little bit of tape there. Oh, well. Okay, so I'm going to add in some of the floral pieces first. And I just, oh, I already got ink on that. Good gracious, I don't know how I did that. I don't have ink it. Oh, yeah, I got ink on my thumb. That's okay. So these are pretty long, so I'm probably going to take off a little bit because I need to make sure that it's not going to stick out too far over the edge of my card. I don't want it to stick over the edge of my card at all. So I'm just going to layer a few pieces and then I will eyeball it. This one, I think I'm gonna break that in half. I'm going to put that right there, but I need a smidge more tape. So I cut the little greenery pieces in Highland Heather Fresh Freesia and the, the leaves are in Lost Lagoon, which these colors are the colors in the designer series paper as well. So I'm just trimming my leaf since I tore it. It's got a rough edge because I'm going to use a little bit more. Okay. Now I think what I'll do is add a little bit of tear and tape to hold the greenery down so it doesn't fall out. And then I'm going to add some more to the bottom of the sentiment piece. All right, almost done. This is so quick. Oh, <laughs> that's okay, Cindy. I was just telling you, I was just talking about this vegan recipe that calls for sweet potato as a base, but. Um, classic Kate found the recipe and thought that looks really good and then I didn't bother to save it to my phone so now I gotta try to figure out where I found that in the first place. <laughs> I do that all the time. It drives Mike crazy because I'll make something for dinner and he'll really like it and he'll ask about the recipe and I'll say oh I found it on the internet and he'll say save it to your phone and I say yep yeah. and then I promptly forget that I said I would save it to my phone. So then he talks about that meal and wants it again and I have no idea where I found it in the first place. So I'm just adding a little bit more tear and tape down because I'm giving up on my stamp and seal at the moment and I just need a little bit more stick to add some of the leaves. Okay, so looks like so. I've got a little bit of a smudge there, but whoever gets this card, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, it's probably going to be my mom, and I can make this card on my Facebook Lives because my mom doesn't have Facebook, so she will not know that this card is coming to her in the mail. So I've added dimensionals. And I just almost forgot, I'm going to add a little bit more tear and tape on the back of my greenery just to keep it from coming apart, just in case if that glue, if the tape dries out or doesn't hold very well. Okay. Now... 
I will pop this up on my second die cut, that one's cut in Highland Heather. And I'm going to stick it right in the middle, or as best I can anyway, because I can't really get my head right over my what I'm doing. Otherwise, all you'll see is the back of my head, and I don't want you to, I don't want to put you through that. Okay, so here we go. Here is our sentiment. It's all blinged up with die cut leaves and flowers, and I'm going to glue that to this front panel. But I'm only going to glue half of this, right? Because you don't want it to stick your card together. So just put some glue on, I don't know, maybe a third of this piece and just make sure you're adding glue to the right side. I may have glued the wrong side before. I don't like to talk about that. If any of you tuned in for my online class on Sunday with the Latte Love, every single card that I demonstrated, I made a mistake on. <laughs> I'm not joking. Every single one had a little mistake um, all fixable, but it was kind of comical. It was just one of those days, I guess. All right, so I'm just holding this down for a second to let that glue set. It does not take long. And there we have it. Super easy, fun full design that really highlights your pretty paper. So that is it for my Monday Live. Um, a few things to talk about before I let you go. So this, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about what's coming next for my classes and a joining special for Stamping Up. So if that is of, of zero interest to you, then tune out now. But for those of you who might be interested, then stay on and hear what I have to say. I will be quick, but first thing I wanted to talk about was in May, starting in May for the whole month, there is a really sweet joining special. So if you love discounts and getting things for a really, really good deal, then you might be interested in this. Um, or if you want to try Stampin' Up! out as a side gig, that's, it's a really good time to join. So either way, if you want a discount and a really good deal, or if you're looking for some fun side gig, this is a great month. So I digress. So in May, what you get with a starter kit are all the in-color stamp pads. So you get five brand new stamp pads, Peach Pie, Pretty in Pink, Summer Splash, Shy, Shamrock, and Petunia Pop. So I have all five, but I did not get these for a good deal. I paid regular price. Um, you get the in color cardstock. So these five colors in cardstock, you get the designer series in color paper, and you also get the in color stamp and rate markers. Now they're not the stamp and blends, they're the stamp and rate markers, which are super handy because you can use those markers right on your cling stamps. You can color in your cling stamps with stamp and rate markers, and then you just kind of like breathe on your stamp, like huff on it to re-moisten the ink, and then you can stamp, which is super handy if you wanna do multiple colors in a stamp. So with all the in-color goodies in the starter kit, you also get a free paper pumpkin. You don't get to pick it, they surprise you. Plus, you choose $165 in whatever product you want, and all of that, all the in-color stuff, the paper pumpkin, the $165 in product, anything you want, it's $135 plus tax and no shipping. So I, I think that's the longest I've ever talked about a joining special. Um, I think, t in my opinion, Stampin' Up! comes up with joining, really good joining specials twice a year. The last one was the glass mat, which was a pretty sweet deal, but the in-color package is, is nice as well. So. If you are looking for a discount, looking for a side gig, um, if you're dropping off, you can rejoin 
and grab this deal. So that's that. Uh, May 18th, Crafty Spring Social, collaboration with Tanya the Canadian Stamper. We still have a few spots left. Um, deadline to register is May 4th. So if that sounds good, if you're a little bit interested, reach out to either me or Tanya and we will let you know all the things we have planned for that app. It's not an afternoon, actually, it's five hours. It's from 10 to three. It's gonna be a really good day. And lastly, some of you may already know this, but I'm taking a break from in-person classes out at the Suit Call. And in June, I plan to offer some new online class options. So that's gonna be on top of the free online class I do the last Sunday of the month. And I don't, uh, I have a plan, but I don't have it planned out enough to tell you exactly what I'm doing, but it will be online classes um, with a couple different options for how to join and I'll be using all new products. So that is it. I feel like I've talked forever about, I'm gonna flip the camera around. Um, <laughs> I feel like I've been talking forever about the um, joining special. So that, I'm sorry, I think I went on too long. I'm just a little bit excited about all the extra goodies you can get for May. So that's it. Thank you. Um, oh, I see you. I don't know if I'm saying your name right. Decay? Decay? Uh, I'm butchering it. I'm sorry. But I see you tuned in. And thanks so much for taking time out of your day to watch my tutorial. And everybody else who take the time to watch my Watch me stumble through my Facebook Lives. Um, I'm grateful for all of you for taking the time to tune in and see what I'm up to. If you're catching me on a replay, you could be watching on Facebook or YouTube. Say hello, tell me where you're from. And if you make this project, please post it in the comments because I love to see what you come up with. Thanks again for tuning in and I will see everybody next Monday.